a technical and practical Hello. description. C can you hear me? Yes, Sasha, we can hear you. Okay, thank you. Okay, hello everybody. Um, also, welcome to our conference from my side. My name is Sascha Fiedler from the University of Kassel in Germany. I am going to present the SAMS Hive system for Beehive monitoring. And first of all, I'll give you a short insight in the technical details of the system. In the second part of my presentation, you will see a short video clip on how to implement the system in the standard Tadant Beehive. Okay, um, Florian, next slide, please. We can you see the slides? Okay, now. We start with a basic structure. You can have a multiple amount of measurement devices here on the bottom left. They get powered by a 12 volt solar system and taking data for temperature, weight, humidity and acoustics. The device is sending data to the mobile GSM router via Wi-Fi. The router itself sends the data via GSM network to a web server where it is processed here via the data warehouse. Uh, tomorrow, a, uh, our partners from the LLU in Latvia will give you an insight in the functionality of such a data warehouse. As an end user, I can display the information on my mobile device, for instance. Next slide. In this sketch, of the hardware architecture you can see on the left the photovoltaic system it also supplies the mobile gsm wi-fi router a 12 volt to 5 volt step down converter reduces the voltage for the monitoring unit we designed a simple pcb to place the components but didn't use tiny smb components to make make the hardware easily accessible for makers and educational institutions such as schools or beekeeping associations. The monitoring unit consists of a Raspberry Pi single board computer, the green one in the middle, an analog to digital converter that converts signals of the load cell. The load cell itself measures the weight of the colony. The on and off cycles of the Raspberry Pi can be controlled very precisely via the Witty Pi energy monitoring system. That reduces energy and also makes the system very suitable for science and research. Additionally, you can see on the top, a sensor frame is connected to the computer and includes temperature sensors and microphone. In order to get local data on air temperature and humidity, sensors can be connected and positioned outside the beehive. The total cost is about 170 euro for a single system. And the whole system, as you already know, is open source. The code can be found under the GitHub link here uh, on the bottom left. Next slide. We also designed uh, 3D printable cases for the sensor frame here on the left and on the right, the computer unit with PCB and components. I will show you this in the video clip in more detail. Next one. You can see the main components on the left picture here consisting of the measurement device on the left with cable for power and connection to the scale. The scale itself, which is the blackboard, and a sensor frame uh, here on the top right on the left picture connected via flat cable to the device. The installation positions are shown on the right sketch. The scale and the device are placed under the beehive, while the sensor frame is placed inside the beehive in the middle of a brood frame. Next one. To run the system, you first need to set up and calibrate it via browser on your smartphone or computer. Therefore, we developed a web application also to change settings. Further settings can be changed via data warehouse remotely. 
We also implemented the sensor self-test feature to check the sensor functionality. To check the main system function remotely, we developed a debug mode to lock any error. And if necessary, the system runs automatically new updates. Also, a status LED shows the basic function. Uh, with the offline mode, the system stores data as long as no internet connection is available. On the picture, you see the calibration of the scale via smartphone. Next slide. Okay, now to, to show you how to implement the system in a beehive, we made this short clip to demonstrate it. Further instructions, building plans and information can be found then on our SAMS webpage. That's uh, firstly from my side. Uh, thanks for your attention. Uh, we hear us in the discussion later. Now to the video. Thank you. Thank you, Sasha Fiedler.